Hello everyone, welcome to Scott Review Sings in four and a half minutes, and I am back in my room at my dad's house, and I'm wearing the same shirt I wore last year, because it's always cold in Michigan, and this is a warm, fuzzy flannel. And what am I reviewing this time? I am reviewing Marvel Premiere number 50, starring Alice Cooper. I had this comic as a kid. Uh, I just remember picking it up. I used to collect Marvel Premiere. I didn't really know who Alice Cooper was when I was 11 when this came out. But I picked it up. I don't know what happened to it. I came across it again, and I am reviewing it. And this is a weird-ass comic. I am telling you this right now. This is not a kid's comic. When this came out, I don't know, I don't know how many kids picked this up. But if they did, they did not understand it. Because this is a weird... Oh, I just, I, I, it's enjoyable. I Reading it uh, now as an adult, then when I was uh, 11 or 10 when it came out, I enjoyed it a lot more. I, a, a child is not going to get anything out of this comic. There, no, you know, there's snakes in it, maybe that, you know, cobras. But no, no, they're not. This comic, I, my last review was of Mystery Science Theater 3000, the comic. Check out that review where they were very, very meta, where they knew they were in a comic. This happened in this comic. And this was 1979. This came out in October 1979. So serendipity. So in October of 1979, Marvel premiere number 50 came out, and Alice Cooper was on the cover right before Halloween. You can't get better than that. Back to the comic. The comic is Alice Cooper. It's about... Uh, it, it's based on one of his songs where he's trapped in a mental institution. And it is so... Alice Cooper, first of all, breaks the fourth wall, talks right to us. So he was Deadpool before Deadpool. And he references of being in a comic book. So it's very, very meta. He knows he's in a comic book. And, and there's jokes and there's puns. You... You can't be, you have to, once again, as I said before in the Mystery Science Theater, you have to pay attention when you read this comic because there are so many things coming at you because not only are there jokes and there are puns, but you've got to look into the background because most of this comic takes place in a mental institution. And in the back, you see the Hulk in a mental, in a mental institution. And you see, and it was looked like Fred from Scooby-Doo because uh, evidently, you know, this is a mystery and they were just having fun with that as a mystery. All of these things come together in this comic book. And it is, I don't, I haven't checked it. I don't know if there are any other comic books with Alice Cooper in it, but they just, they nailed his persona perfectly in this comic book and they nailed meta perfectly in 1979 and they nailed the jokes perfectly and I just enjoyed reading and I want to go off not only a lot of the comics that I read nowadays are trade paperbacks they're not the actual comic this is the actual comic from 1979 not only was it fun reading it again but it was fun to see the ads in it again. They have ads for Grit. Do you remember Grit? Remember those uh, Hostess? They have those little one-panel comic books for Hostess fruit pies and cupcakes starring, uh, you know, starring a Marvel superhero. That was in this. All of this. This was just memorabilia. This was just just remembering my childhood, sort of, because I remember the ads, but I do not remember the story at all. And reading the story now, it just, oh, it it just came to life on the just the the inner the inner humor and and the ending ending the ending ends up with somebody who nobody ever thought would be elected to office getting elected to office what does that sound like ah uh, man if you can these are kind if you don't have if you don't these are kind of expensive right now but if you can find one pick this up this is one of the the the, the most